Okay, well, we're gonna get started now. I have no idea why any of you is actually interested in watching this, but hey, why not? So, we've got some challenge with no wood, so I'm gonna have to start directly in bronze. So, <coughs> let's take a look. Ooh, ugh. Oh, does this not work anymore? Yeah. <clears throat> Control more planets than your opponent at the end of the game. Plan on a graph of your connected planets. Control, place units. More units. start with yeah i can start up to understand why everybody's having a hard time i'm having just as hard as time as anybody else uh, let's maybe take a look at the battles and that can be easier show me something how do i Okay, better. Let's submit the default code and see what it looks like. So the red, who's not me and has a cool name, is kind of spreading in a way. Oh, he's attacking me. That looks bad. Okay, so some form of territory control. Let's see what we can do about this. No, oh, Ragnarkus says, watch top people's replays. Top people? Who are the top people? How do I do this? Is this interface? Like one of those? Ah, stop talking, people. I can't follow everything. Okay, let's look at this nice guy here. Well, okay, Reknarkas, thank you for your suggestion. <clears throat> Indeed, uh, take control. Now, how is this damn thing controlled? Uh, I am going to have to read this statement at some point, right? Unless someone helps me first. <laughs> yeah, okay, nothing interesting here. And distraction here. Yeah, wave. So we're on a graph of interconnected planets. Uh, we've got five units to planets we can reach. So, either effect or sacrifice. Probably we'll see that later. Planet tolerance. 
limited tolerance so we cannot affect units too often okay And when it reaches zero, it's done. Okay. Tolerance is not affected by unit spread. What's that? That's the thing above. Okay. Hey, I'm not last. Okay, so summary control planets. We control planets probably by being there before the enemy or by being there in greater numbers. That tolerance thing I'm going to have to understand later on. And expert rules maybe later. And to make debugging easier, should I do that? We'll see later. Oh, that's a lot of input. Planet count, edge count. I suppose this has to do with the graph here. By the way, should we play this? What does the default code even do? Zero, 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 none. Is that a space invader? Okay, who cares? Uh, of an link. Magnificent. Numbered by zero, because this is not Fortran. And at each turn, so we get a graph in the beginning, and at each turn we get the number of units Okay, so who understood the problem while I was away? Oh, I remember. I was trying to... Yeah, but it's not necessarily going to work. So let's get a map. And try and conquer, so I'm on 13, and I'd go on 1 and 9. 
Would that work? Yay, that works. Okay. So I suppose the completely stupid thing to do first is to just try and get as many planets as possible. Starting with those that are accessible. So I suppose the first thing I'm gonna do is just get the list of planets, filter those that are accessible and get there if there's five of them so now you will witness uh, the terrible state of the haskell default code on code and game that's just whatever okay i'm not removing it but line buffering is enough um, get lost uh, so, what is the input? Planet count and edge counts. What? So the problem with that interface is you can't see everything at the same time. Oh, yeah, sure. I'm not stealing your code, that's mine code. <laughs> That's probably what the default code should be. Uh, so this is probably as useless as everything. What are we trying to keep here? So edge count, a list of planet A, planet B. Sure. Um, So, yeah. Uh, that's would that do? Now what? Pattern match failure. What? That's not what the input says. First line. First line. Next edge counts lines. Oh, I forgot to remove that. Okay. Okay, I can still get a planet. We're almost there. Game loop with no state, but that's for another time. It's 
so for each planet five int my units my tolerance other units other tolerance and can assigned they're all int so we're kind of do the same thing If someone knows how to do column editing with this thing, uh, no, not this one. So I'm sorry you had to see this, but uh, what I did was absolutely nothing but make it usable. And what did I miss? 18 parse error. Why is this still here? Now what? Let's see. Oops. Yeah, change the map. So of course my hard coding doesn't work anymore, but we'll get on that. So now let's try and do something actually useful. Ah, come on, laggy interface. E. Yeah, take my click here, click, I'm clicking here. I'm dragging it slowly over there. Come over there. Now stay there. Great. Um, so what did I say we wanted to do? We wanted to filter for planets who are in reach and just go there. So let's do that. Two, uh, what are the planets that are in reach? I suppose that's exactly why they give us the can assign thing. This is so new friendly. Okay, well, let's just take the first five ones that we can assign to. Uh, do we do this in a single time or not? No, let's do something dirty because apparently doing something dirty is the way to reach gold right so uh, prime target would be something like filter um, can assign to uh, well c equals one of the planets i want five of them so how much is that so that's like five of them except if there are not exactly five of them in which case we'll pad and add exactly five minus what we already have of a valid planet uh, that is not reachable and i forgot but i think i recall seeing in the chat that you could not use anything for that 
So I'm not quite sure what the right thing to put around here is. I'll put zero for now, but it's probably not going to stay to the end. So what does this look like? Of course it doesn't compile. OK, I'm going to have to change editors pretty fast because this is so inconvenient. So let's do that. What am I going to call this? I'm going to do this fine, I suppose. Woohoo! Let's just put this around here, make it bigger. I suppose that's even better readable to you than the previous one was. So, oh, that's because those are planets, uh, and all I want is the planet. The planet, what? Hey, how are those even indexed? By order. Ugh. So I'm going to need to add them an index as I read them. So let's do that. Uh, so those are, well, just the planets. Uh, so if I want to have their number, I'm going to have to add it to them around here, which means this starts to be needed. And uh, map. And all I need is the ID, so ID is FST. This looks much better. Well, yeah, that's so much better. Let's try another one. So I suppose all that's happening now is that I have can assign to absolutely no one anymore, and I'm going to have to think of something else. But this is perfectly submittable. Let's see how it goes. I am so not last anymore. No. Oh. Come on, you can do better than that. You people talk too much. What's a side effect? Yeah, who knows? No, I just don't care. <laughs> yes, Rick, I guess you found right. <laughs> It's a stress transferring device and takes the stress out of my hand into the cube and uh, hopefully to you.
Okay, here's one for you then. What's that noise? So sorry, there's no picture. That's just me watching at the text and trying to understand it. And it's probably going to take some time because it's late. I'm still wondering what I'm actually supposed to do here. Effect. Which one am I affecting? Let's watch a game. So, 5, 13 for 13 and all zeros. Where is even zero? Zero is not a good. There is a planet zero, right? Uh, maybe not. That seems to go against the... Yeah, planets are numbered from zero. <laughs> there is yeah i believe you where is it to my left uh, oh yeah here it is yeah okay so let's buy it so um well i suppose i'm just gonna have to find something better anyway uh so does this make sense i'm at 15 5 13 oh so i'm 
actually assigning to the planet that was already mine, which is not, yeah, well, it's only going to be assignable for as long as it can tolerate me. And they're already not. And what happened here? Did I try to get that 16? No, I didn't. Why did I not? I need to get that 16. Of course it got it before me. If I didn't even try. So right now, seems like it's not even maximizing spreading. Yeah, well, spreading is probably not the right term. One, three, five, seven, nine. I suppose I'd like to favor planets I'm not already on. Not already on or can't take. Well, I mean, we can probably try both. Okay, well, let's start making things a bit cleaner. Uh, data types. Uh, and on the data. ID, uh, what else? Uh, P, my units, uh, P, my tolerance, uh, and all of that. Do they not capitalize their stuff in languages that support it? There we go. to adjust this. Hey. Uh, so I'm missing ID here. I'm going to have to get it in. Uh, I how do I do this? Uh, ooh, I'm going to need a fold. This is unexpected. This is going to be horrible. Uh, flip, fold, bam. Oh, this is pretty dirty too. Does that even work? Of course not. Why doesn't it work? Because that's not a, f it's a map M I need, uh, which is a 4M. Yeah, of course not. Uh, so no zip, that's not needed anymore. That filter is just uh p to p can whatever and map p i d that should be about the same what did i miss that yeah of course the uh so i've got the same thing only cleaner that's not what i wanted to do Yes, yeah, Solgard, I know you know, but you're too laggy for it to be helpful. <laughs> it 
So what did I say I was going to do that could be smarter than that? Like picking better planets. This shouldn't be needed either. Uh, so, and this is where my understanding of the graph stuff is going to be pretty weak. What is the... interest of getting planets we get planets because that's the goal but how do we get planets faster than the other one boss bronze great boss name cg So, <laughs> oh, getting the right ones, but which are the right ones? I suppose the right one is that 16 here. And I also suppose, no, I don't suppose much. I'm not sure I understand the problem enough for now. Yeah, well, get your shit to together, chat people. <laughs> getting them faster or getting more of them. And what does it even mean that I'm currently affecting units to planets that are already mine? And I'm not sure if that's good or bad or, uh, well, obviously it decreases the tolerance, but those starting planets are so far away from him. Does it matter? So let's not go to the ones that are already mined for now. But the funny thing is, I'm not even sure I know which one are mine. That's not in the input, is it? So if I have more, it's mine. And I suppose if he, if he equalizes, does that mean he, it can't mean he gets it, but do I still have it? Yeah, I suppose it gets neutral if it's uh, equal. Well, okay, so prime targets as those that are assignable. And also those who've got... Uh... Do I take the neutral ones? Yeah, I'll take the neutral ones for now. So let's say that's P... Uh, P Hey. And we're fighting for the middle and he's 
gaining on me. Ooh. So it's worse in the end, but it did start better because I actually tried to fight for that one. Yeah, yeah, you win. Okay. Oh, sure. I can take your suggestion. So less or equal to, yeah, what would that mean? That means uh, attack. Well, I mean, it's only one character. That's like an easy try. Yeah, that's still a loss. Slowly but surely. Why did he get the middle and not me? Right now, equivalent. So I said seven and eleven. No, that's the one before. Then ten and sixteen. Uh, While well, he is fortifying his. Ooh, lots of hints on the chat. My petting sucks. Well, of course it does, but what can I what else can I do? I'm wasting units. Planets I can assign. So maybe instead of filtering by this, we could actually sort. Let's sort that ought to make for a more assignable planets. Uh, can I sort on here? Yeah. Nah, I want the opposite. That's probably ridiculous. Um, but at least it's not going to put as many zeros. Okay, that is absolutely not what I wanted. Though it is kind of less ridiculous. Did he time out? 
Why am I not seeing his output? Yeah, you're all very helpful, but I don't understand much of this problem. <laughs> but we'll get there, we'll get there. So the gist of it, do not send units to a planet I can't reach. Yeah. I'm not sure I was sending units to a planet I can't reach. I mean, I am filtering on can assign. So this is mostly equivalent to what he's doing, or is it? I've got zeros here. He doesn't. Oh, he's sending more to the same plan as that what Snowman was saying. Yay, okay. Well, in that case, uh, why do I not do something even dirtier that we all like? And said I am gonna take the first five of cycle of that well okay now I'm only staying in here for whatever reason but I'm probably never sending a zero again. How did I get that zero in the middle? I really feel like I should try and get that 16 one here. Because right now, yeah, I'm assigning a lot. Why am I assigning so much to planets I already have? Those are already mine, there's no point. I put the yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hard code the 16. No, I like it to deduce it. And even before it deduces, it's actually a choke point. I mean, uh, I like it to spread a bit more because that seems to be the thing to do. And I think I'm kind of lacking some kind of intuition about how this whole thing works. I mean, it's just a graph. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, back to some code. Right now, I'm only assigning to planets I can assign to. Well, that seems reasonable. And by priority, of having so much fewer of my units than his, which is probably improvable. So why does he not think he should... Oh, those are at zero. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to do something stupid, not implement a complete graph search and everything. <laughs> I should probably... I mean, as long as neutral planets are accessible, I suppose I should really want to go there. Which is not even happening now, so let's get back to that. Maybe we're going to define a bit more. Neutrals are PID on uh, filter... Uh, neutrals are those for which, uh, okay, let's get 32. So those are the neutrals. Neutrals are priority. Then, Then should I fight? Or is defending enough? I don't know. So if there are neutrals, send everything there. If there are no neutrals. Yeah, apps is just, uh, I need something for uh, it's short for both my units are zero and his units are zero. Oh, I'm sure about my sword on. I mean, I'm sure it does what I want it to do. It's just that what I want it to do for now is not necessarily very smart. But I'm not going to keep it. Two, two is also neutral. Oh, yes, that is very correct. Thank you. So let's get back to this. I was short-sighted by the fact the neutrals I want for now are the, the ones that are close to me. But yeah, those are neutral too, and I suppose I want them too. Or at least I want them to stay neutral instead of passing to the other side. Yeah, but I'm not keeping that sword on. Unless I understand what I'm doing, which is not on the right path for now. So, neutrals. Well, at least I've got them. Mm. 
but I won't necessarily have enough of them, so I am going to have to think of a fallback that's better than zero. And for those, I suppose my prime targets could be good enough for now. So what's my new pettit target? I'd like to put cycle neutrals, then cycle the other one, but I'm not even sure that's going to do something intelligent. What does this do? This doesn't work OK. So let's not do that. So priority is take five no matter what. How does that look? I don't know, it's too late. Let's just try. I wish this topic inspired me, but it's so far from it. So assuming power is number, where am I going wrong? Why did I go nowhere here? What do you mean? One, zero, one, two, three, four. That makes no sense at all. Am I taking the PID? Yeah. This is utterly ridiculous. How can you want to go? Oh, that's called they're all neutral. How is this? So, OK, he is trying to assign to the other end of the map, which he can't. I thought the can assign was exactly to protect us against that. No, it's only if. Does someone even understand that? It's one if it's a valid target. Does this mean I'm going to have to do my graph search anyway? I don't want to do that. Sorry, I'm going to have to read the rules again until this actually makes sense to me, because now we're not there yet. For every turn, you must affect five units to planets you can reach. You can reach planets you already have at least one unit on. And the neighbors of the planets you control. Yes, okay. Oh, you're telling me I'm going to have to do a graph search at around midnight?
Okay. If Canasign does what I think, why is it telling me to put... Oh, that's because I didn't filter for the neutrals. Ooh, I'm tired. Yeah, and Canasign. BFS? Do I need a BFS? Hey, this is much better. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm so submitting this. So, five rank points better than the f earlier one. Of course it's lubed. Get a real one. Ask your colleague, he knows the where to find the good shit. I should not do this, but I'm doing doing it anyway. It's going to apply maybe later. Why is this shit still here? Okay, I could take the challenge of writing a BFS, but I'm not quite sure I see why I would want to write a BFS now. So... Let's look at this. Well, maybe I should think to attack a bit now. Because right now I'm not doing anything. Oh, I thought I was right. No, I'm left because it's. Who am I? I'm yellow. I'm supposed to be winning here. Why am I not winning? I don't get it. Did I time out or something? Ah, because here I'm red. Okay. Bug in the interface.
Yeah, it could be the timeout, probably it. I mean, all I'm doing is consolidating here. I should attack. So let's see if I'm getting the hang of this. Neutrals, prime target. I should find a better name. What's prime target? What am I doing? That's like uh, Uh, okay, let's do something we could call attackables. So what do I want here? I'm going from planets. Uh, they have to be assignable. Uh, they have to belong to the other guy. Mm. Oh, I can see the graph stuff coming here. Because obviously I'd want to take only one at a time and I'd want to take it from the no i don't care no if it's reachable that's good enough and i suppose only one's good enough and i want to yeah so not no cycle nutrients else if not no prime stuff then that uh, else uh yeah okay why not uh, what did i do again yeah P now what because i didn't take the id well at least it should get rid of the timeout Still doesn't win. How does this not win? I'm timing out again. I'm timing out again. Because I run out of all of them. Is that possible? Yeah, empty list. Empty. List, yeah, so I'm out of options. I mean, what else can I can I target? Why am I out of options here? Because of the tolerance, I suppose. Well, I mean, what's left? Tolerance is zero, 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 zero. 
Well, let's at least not time out on that. And see if that's enough not to lose. Yeah, I could spread, but I don't know what that means. So. <laughs> hey, ooh, come back, normal lighting. Well, at least that wins. So I suppose it's kind of better and we can submit that. If not timing out is enough, I'll take it. Well, you're welcome. Who cares about promotion? I'm supposed to go from bronze to bronze. <laughs> hey, I'd like to see more encouraging words on the chat, please. No, it's not. I just have to stop the stream before I'm promoted. Which probably won't happen anyway. Let's not kid ourselves here. Then again... <laughs> Yeah, but you were not patient enough. So, what's up here? Where are the... from 5th to 8th.
far away am I anyway? Like one and a half, one three quarters away. Uh, tough, but with a bit of luck. Okay, so this one is not interesting at all. Let's get back to uh, fighting the boss. But I beat the boss. <laughs> Okay, well, let's find one where I do not beat the boss. So this last this ties. Oh yes, this ties. Okay. What killing rule? Well, if I'm beating him every time, it's not going to be too interesting, is it? Ah, oh, okay, here we go.
Oh, is that so? Okay, well, let me cover the chair noise with the cube. So I'm like almost three points away from the boss, which seems a bit far off to actually hope to pass. But then again, it's late enough that there is not an obvious thing I could improve and think about right now. So unless the chat has a magical suggestion, that's probably going to be it. The replay. The uh, replay of what? You mean this one? Like, click the link here and uh, I never did that. And uh, how am I even going to give it? I mean, uh, it's going to be on the French chat. <laughs> what the? But in my opinion, and now that I'm kind of starting to see how it goes, I suppose the tolerance is really a limiting factor and I'm going to have to kind of... Uh, I mean, in the end, the goal is to have the max planets, but in the end, who has the planets is the one who was the first to put five people there. So probably we ought to evaluate balancing that. Avoid being cut in two groups. Yeah, like my code's aware of that. Yeah, well, we'll think over it and um, see if I'm actually motivated enough to click on this tomorrow again. <laughs> Step five back, says you. What does back even mean? Uh, ah, yeah, I see. Yeah, so I suppose I should prefer targeting planets that are yeah closer to the median between the yeah that makes sense okay now i understand why you wanted the bfs <laughs> and can that easily and fastly be done i mean that's just prioritizing Because this is just a matter of selecting the neutral planets. So let's fantasize. Uh, 
what I would like if I wanted to do that would be in the neutral planet section. This is uh, abort, abort. I like to have sorting here to put the contended planet first. So I like to have some sort of a sort here. Let's make it theoretically real dirty. Sort on like a contention. Down contention. Do I only need one unit there? I don't know. You probably understood the game better than I, but I had the feeling that is tolerance per turns you put units or per units you put tolerance, tolerance, tolerance. It's per turn, so I would tend to say that it's better to put the most at the same time. No. Uh, and contention, how is that defined? Uh, well, yeah, here's the BFS, it's the distance to... Um, it's the distance to the closest enemy. There's no going around that. So do I do a stupid BFS or a smart BFS? This could be done in such a haskly way, it's almost a crime not to do it now, but it's going to take some time. Because my thinking is, of course, we want to sort by contention. So we could get here and uh, define contention of a planet to be, and here's where it's very dirty, and that's not what we want to do, but we'd BFS it. Um, to get uh, the distance the closest enemy so its value would be the first enemy found by bfs so the goal would be some kind of as in enemy starting from p to make things simple and dirty and sorting on that would be having us do a BFS each time it's compared against, which is actually possible that it's enough, uh, given what we're doing here, but it is very dirty. A more interesting way to do it would be to have uh, it here as part of the planet. We could have as part of the planet 
P dist to enemy that would be so much more cool to have it directly in and this is where I get excited and tired at the same time so this is gonna mess up spectacularly so after the kind of sign we want here the dist to uh, the dist to enemy of P what's P it's I here I which would have to be lazily defined around here or inside so let's get rid of that and down on P this What, are you dreaming of seeing a BFS in Haskell? You're out of your mind. <laughs> Want me to write a BFS in Haskell? I mean, it's only three lines or something. Well, I'm probably gonna have to do it anyway. Uh, how's this? This to enemy, which is undefined for now. We'll do it just a bit later. Yeah. That's the only mistake. Okay, and this to enemy. I like to have it as a function of planets and do I have access to planet here? No, because I need recursive monadic binding and I never remember what the trick is to get that. Hey, do you know it by heart? I want a recursive uh, lazy uh, uh, uh. Well, okay, I'll cheat. Well, or just that better, that not better because I've got to bring this here. What do you mean, parse? Oh, okay. Uh, still not good. Why? Huh? What do you mean syntax error? Okay, this is going to be harder and harder every minute. This won't actually work either. It's uh, no, that doesn't work anyway. Uh, what's the trick? Okay, I'm too tired to Haskell. Well, it will work as soon as I find the syntax extension I need. <laughs> okay, GHC manual. Uh, 
Yeah, whatever. Of course, recursive do naturally. Let's try it. And is that enough per se? Not yet. That's better. Uh, yeah, well, that's not good enough anymore. And is that the only error? Okay, so. This enemy, uh, yeah, it's an index equals BFS of is enemy. Uh, I'm going to need to do something with those edges in the end. So is enemy with a starting index of i BFS, I'm going to need the close list. Is a list enough? It'll be for now. BFS, closed set, go function. Uh, let's put it as whole. And Q, which, uh, well, which if yeah, well, uh, I eyes. I'm gonna need a distance. Ooh, which way should I do this? DFPFS. I'm starting. Oh, this is okay. This is better than the one we were discussing in the middle, but it's still really not optimal. So we're at I, we're at a distance of zero. Uh, so I distance and a Q. So if uh, I is closed, ah, closed, uh, keep going. I really don't need that. Well, who cares? Uh, keep going. If it's not closed, then expand, filter on closed. Or don't. They're small graphs. It doesn't matter. So uh, CL prime uh, goes the same. Q and Q prime. So CL prime is uh, well uh, I and C L. Eh. Mm, goes and change and Q prime is the neighbors. So we're gonna have to define neighbors at some point. Um, I'm gonna avoid constant too much here. Oh, let's make it easier. So node uh, node high prime to the neighbors of where am I? I'm in I. So this is index bound. How's that? Is enemy well is enemy I prime 
and neighbors. So neighbors is gonna be here and uh, let's make it dirty for now. So neighbors of index i is a concat map of f in edges so f of p a p b Okay, could this work? No, I don't have a closing case on my BFS. Let's add that. Uh, BFS, ta ta ta, if I'm empty. Oh, I need the goal actually. Goal I equals D. And I suppose I do not actually need an empty case because I'm always going to find an enemy or else I wouldn't be here. What now? Is an enemy planet? Yeah. This is where I need an is enemy by index as this is why I needed the recursive do. So is and let me find planet i uh, equals p where just p is find in the planet something like that well it compiles so it works right What the? Oh, I need a cough. Brace yourselves. <coughs> okay, so was that better? Let's look at the beginning. Well, it is going towards the enemy, right? Now the frontier is empty, so what's it gonna do next? Uh, with the current strategy, it's gonna take the neutrals in the back. So it does, there's one neutral left and it's gonna go there with all it got. And now we fight. So right now I'm actually in a better position than him. In all logic, he should pick one as the attackable one and put all it has on it. What did it do? I didn't see. That's not a good move. I'm losing three planets. And getting one back, where did I go? I've put everything on 36, where's 36? No, that was the preceding move, so I... 
636159 Why are you doing that? Well, who knows? I'm tempted to submit this. Because I'm pretty far off anyway, and I'd like to see how this one goes. Yeah, prime target, what about it? Oh, is it? What do you think I should do instead? If other new unit is zero, yeah, that makes it negative my unit. Let's see the code again. does look kind of better. So if other unit is zero, I never go to attackables. Well, yes, that's kind of inherited from the base strategy now. Right now, plan A is neutrals and plan B is prime targets. Want me to attack before I I don't remember why we put prime targets there. But we can certainly invert. Yeah, right now the difference between prime target and attackables is mostly that on attackables we only take one at a time though this could change too of course so if you want to see it with attackables first well that's certainly feasible even though, ha, 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 come on. Even though this might actually pass. <laughs> hey, get back on an upward trend.
let's watch the feed. Oh, come on, I am beating the boss. Yeah, well, it was like 50-50 up there. I am kind of reliably beating the boss. <laughs> And I am over the boss. Let's see if it lasts. I was over the boss when I was in this other pain. <laughs> Let's get back over the boss. Yeah, I like this view better. Bad streak. But still beating the boss because come on. What, seriously? Excuse me, duty calls. <gasps> Okay, well, I think this will pass in the end. I mean, it's only a matter of uh, having the right touch. Let's clean this up a bit so we can actually have a, 
a separated BFS and keep it clean. So what happens if I get the BFS out of here? Does that still work? Of course not. So I'm going to need that as a function and a rather put goal here. And I need neighbors. Where was it? Uh, yeah, this will end up with the uh, go, so this still works. Uh, and let's put it with go. We don't need a close nest here. So go. Yeah, sorry. I hate type signatures. So neighbors is a function that takes an int and returns a list of it. Goal is an int bool if I'm correct. And then I'm taking, yeah, currently it's uh, a pack of int, int, and this returns, what is it, returns an int, I think. Ah, okay, that's the one. Okay, so here's the BFS. Uh, well, okay, let's add the last case. Uh, except, what do I do if it's if there's own, no enemy? This shouldn't really happen. But hey. So, summary, well, I've got a BFS in the end, so I suppose we kind of needed those. Uh, we've got a cool recursive monadic binding. I do not get to write one every day, so I'm kind of happy about this one. And what else? Uh, we've got a strategy I kind of only halfway understand myself because uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here. I'm just... Uh, Aiming for the middle first and uh, 
What do you mean? Neighbors? I, I prime. Huh? What's your problem with that? Oh, <laughs> well, certainly. <laughs> Good catch. Yes, of course, D prime would be a lot better. Wow, let's put better identifiers. I was a planet index. D is a distance, obviously. And why is that an N? Uh, maybe that's what should actually be a J. Would be more reasonable. Yep. That all good. This is way too much indent. Let's put some serious comments around here so I know where to look at tomorrow. If I get back to this tomorrow. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, come on. Well, okay. Uh, maybe I should actually submit again since there's a big bug in my pathfinding. Let's do that. Without the bug. <laughs> Well, that loses. So I'm going to try again until it wins. So I'm satisfied. Rank two. Oh, yeah, they've been promoted, haven't they? Yep. Okay, so I'm now consistently losing against the boss. Yeah, I actually also think so. <laughs> so no, I'm just going to wait here until somebody pushes me because that's got a better chance of happening than me writing anything interesting now. Okay, well, I think that's enough for a first time.
I'm actually surprised there are still people watching. You guys are crazy. And you still got ideas. You want me never to sleep, right? Attacking as a plan B. I don't even remember what those are, but I mean, yeah, all I gotta do is get this line out. Attacking as a plan B, do I put a plan C or do we not care? Well, if this wins against the boss, maybe. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Timeout. What do you mean, timeout? Timeout again. Uh, oh, that's because I'm not cycling it. Ooh, that's a pretty bad bug. Nobody tells me anything. <laughs> so I was click. When I click, the mouse comes here. Okay, how about that? Yeah, except this one never happens, so yeah. Let's do it this way first. Some conditions would be better. Hey, that wins. Let's try again. Win again. Lose. Lose by how much? Ah, that one's interesting. This one's fascinating. I am picking on each and every one of his planets one by one. 